ya senior entero kolitika starting with general information you need to know about this bacteria this motile gram negative rod is another cause of acute gastroenteritis since entero is part of yersinia enterocoliticus name it is not surprising that this organism is a cause of acute gastroenteritis it is not really an enteric bacterium but it is included here uh, because it causes diarrhea this organism is closely related to yersinia pestis which is the cause of bubonic plague we will talk about it in another video like yersinia pestis animals are a major source of yersinia enterocolitica yersinia enterocolitica differs in that it is transferred by uh, the fecal oral route rather than a flea bite in uh, bubonic plague or yersinia pestis right following ingestion of contaminated foods such as milk from domestic farm animals or fecal contaminated water patients will develop fever diarrhea and abdominal pain right so uh let's talk about pathogenesis and clinical manifestations of uh, yersinia enterocolitica right okay starting with pathogenesis the pathogenesis of this organism is twofold the first part is invasion like salmonella typhi this organism possesses virulence factors that allow binding to the intestinal wall and systemic invasion into the regional lymph nodes right like uh, mesenteric lymph nodes or invasion into the bloodstream causing uh, sepsis Uh, the second part the production of an enterotoxin this organism can secrete an enterotoxin very similar to heat stable enterotoxin of e coli that causes diarrhea right on clinical manifestations remember the last symptom i mentioned is abdominal pain right so this pain is most severe in the right lower quadrant of the abdomen and therefore patients may appear to have appendicitis examination of the terminal ileum right where is the terminal ileum located in the right lower quadrant uh, will reveal mucosal ulceration right diagnosis and treatment uh, diagnosis can be made by isolation of this organism from feces or food we can also do colonoscopy because i told you about ulceration right right so colonoscopy of terminal ileum will reveal mucosal ulceration treatment does not appear to alter the course of gastroenteritis but patients who have sepsis should be treated with antibiotics Although refrigeration of food can wipe out many types of bacterial pathogens, Yersinia enterocolitica can survive and grow in the cold. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, right? And you can also check in our, our comment section. There is a link there which will direct you to PayPal if you get the opportunity even to give a dollar. I will highly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Until next time.